Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Ruby. Today we're gonna to be talking about a new to me brand. You guys know I've just been kind of like entering the luxury world and there's just so many things, so many things and so many beautiful things. And so <sighs> Olivia Palmero, Palermo, Palermo, Olivia Palermo was having a huge sale. Okay, maybe it wasn't huge, but I think it was like 20% off or 25% off. I think it was 25. Um, I had to try some stuff. Okay. I only got two things. I was really, really good. I could have got more. I didn't. Um, but I could have got more anyways, the packaging was so beautiful, but I just, I needed to get rid of stuff. So I didn't keep the packaging, but I did keep the little card that comes with it, which looks like this. It's, I love that it's kind of that gold, um, foil writing, which is, it just feels even the paper feels luxurious the paper feels really luxurious her note says i am so excited that you have chosen olivia palermo beauty for your beauty wardrobe i call my makeup collection my like wardrobe my makeup wardrobe oh my god i love that oh my god i love that i knew this was a brand for me uh bringing the collection to life has been a passion of mine for many years i have poured all my experience into a gorgeous yet functional product and i hope you love it I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed creating it. Thank you. Love, Olivia. So that's a cute little note. Everything was like this beautiful turquoise packaging and just like super luxe. But like even the packaging, I kept the packaging so I could show you. But this is heavy. This is like a huge brick. But this is the packaging. I don't know if you can see the texture at all. But it's like a beautiful, like almost linen cardstock paper something you would see for like really fancy um wedding invitations so that's what it looks like you've got the back there with the ingredients and all that and this is the little box of lipstick look how chubby that is like for a lipstick box i don't know if i have a lipstick near me i don't but it's it's quite a chunky little lipstick box but it's so pretty like look how look how beautiful that is we're just gonna dive right in because i can't even help myself right now I feel like, you know, when Hannah Louise post and buys like pretty things and she just kind of gushes over them, I feel like I'm gushing over this makeup. And I've been waiting forever to use this, but I really wanted to use it with you guys. And I really wanted to do like a first impressions kind of review. And I really wanted to do like a fresh, a fresh. <laughs> and I really wanted to do a first impressions kind of review with you guys because I'm just diving into the world of luxury and this purchase especially I think was really exciting because of the packaging, the experience, the everything. I accidentally I think swatched one shade and that's because I kind of dug my nail into it by accident. So that's the only thing that's really been touched but I do want to show you guys everything. So let's start with the lipstick. Also can I just say this is made in Canada. Is this made in Canada too? Oh my god. They're made in Canada. Okay, well, well, <laughs> even more reason for me to know that this is the brand for me. First of all, they call their makeup wardrobe or collection a wardrobe and they're made in Canada and it's turquoise. Like, I love this kind of like sage green, but like the turquoise, like I'll show you maybe the inside of the packaging is like that. No, it's not. Oh my God, God I can't. I don't even have words. I feel like I should have done my nails because <laughs> this makeup deserves pretty nails. Um, so you've got Olivia's logo on the top there, which is kind of like an O with a P in it, if you can tell. Um, this is just, this is just so luxe. It's so heavy. Like I can't, I can't even, can you hear, can you hear, can you hear the heaviness? It's so heavy. Um, and then this is what the bottom looks like. It's very reflective, so hard to show you, but there is a little sticker on it. it tells you the shade. I got Santa Fe. These are matte lipsticks. Um, it's got, you guys know me in magnets, but it's got a very strong magnet. You pull off the lid. It's got, oh, can we focus? It's probably a little too shiny but Olivia Palermo written around the actual tube right there. And then we're gonna pull up the shade. 
and that is the color of lipstick. I mean, what a typical rupee color, but that is the shade. Just even closer, just for fun, because why not? I love like a good, perfect lipstick. <laughs> this beautiful little lipstick is a matte lipstick for a neutral in an orange undertone that glides on smoothly and provides long lasting coverage and moisture. We'll see about that. I had gloss on my lips earlier, but I've wiped it off for this video. So nothing on the lips right now. Um, easily glides on lips, coating them with color without drying out the lips. Easy lip absorption creates an optimal combination of moisture and softness. Enriched ingredients provide the ultimate protection for your lips. When the, masks, when the mask comes off, the lips come on. So I guess that means it's supposed to stay. I don't know. Um, their products are all formulated without sulfates, formaldehyde, phthalates, parabens, talc, mineral oil, BHT, whatever that is. I don't even know. And they are vegan and cruelty-free, which is really nice for a luxury brand. Um, I think Olivia Palermo and the only other one I really know is Westman Atelier, but I don't know if there's any other that are like cruelty-free and vegan. So that's really, really cool. I'm just, I can't stop staring at this. I feel like I almost need to put it back in its box so I just don't look at it. The other item I picked up is a palette. Uh, so that's the eyeshadow palette. I picked up the shade or the shade, the style shade in Soiree, um, which I think is such a beautiful name. And again, it's got the golden woven packaging. The back of it has a sticker, which is funny because some people used to you're like oh my god if it's luxury why does it have a sticker because this kind of packaging costs a lot of money do you know how much money it would cost to engrave on this like this is heavy it's like a brick so it's got olivia palermo written right there on top and then if we just open it up i'm gonna be really careful because i don't want to drop it you get a kind of nice sized mirror and here is soiree it's kind of a fun color story i almost thought it was a little bit too neutral for what I wanted um but it looks really pretty and I kind of really want to put this all over my lids and do like kind of a smoky look but I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure but we are going to play with this I am going to do obviously an eye look and we're going to test out the lipstick together um I should tell you a little bit more about this palette before we move on though because um you probably want to know. So regular price. Oh, I didn't tell you the price of the lipstick. The price of the lipstick was $50. And I think that's U.S. pricing or Canadian. I don't really know. I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen just so I can clarify. But obviously I did get that 25% off of that price. And the palette here is $76. It's a curated palette of luxurious eyeshadows. Uh, taking cues from Olivia's Nights Out on the Town. I can totally see that it's like a night out on the town type of palette. Uh, the range of matte and shimmering effects work together for an eye-catching finish. And again, it's formulated the same way as um, all their other products. You can use your favorite applicator or fingertips to apply onto the lid for a desired sheer, soft, or bold effect. So, I mean, obviously I'm probably going to use brushes, but I may dip my fingers into some of these just to get a lot more. Um, and then it says style tip. So it gives you a little style tip. It says use amaretto as a versatile base to layer with other shades for a dazzling finish. So amaretto is this one here, which is the matte base. Maybe we'll try that. Maybe we'll try that. I'm just gonna grab my eyeshadow primer because I forgot it. I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Smashbox. I was trying to find my MAC Pink Pot in Soft Ochre, but I do not know where it is. So this is, I guess, the way to go. I am not flipping you off, I promise. It's just sometimes easier for me to do stuff with my middle finger. I don't know why, don't ask. <laughs> so there we are. Oh my gosh, I'm so... <laughs> so excited but also so like I don't know um I am gonna use the refer number one brush which is just kind of a pinched one I am gonna go in with the shade amaretto I'm just gonna grab it and I want to put it all over the lid as they suggested as a base because I want to see what that does because that was their style tip so let's just see so far I feel like oh I forgot to take the little film off of this I wonder, I'm like, why is this mirror not so clear? 
I rhymed. Okay. Yeah, the mirror is actually really nice. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that. This matte shadow doesn't obviously have, I mean, it has pretty decent coverage, I feel like. You can tell, I think, a little bit of the difference between both of my lids. So I'm just going to pack that all over. Yeah, you can definitely see it going into the crease there, but I want to take another shade into the crease. So I'm actually going to just pop this on the lid here. I rarely use like a base shade. I usually just go in with whatever is going wherever it's going, but we can definitely do this a little different today just to see. Okay, so far that's really pretty. I am next gonna use a refer number 15, which is like a blending brush. I'm gonna go into this shade here, um, which is called Plush Tool. It's also a matte. We're going to go into plush tool, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to go into the crease very lightly. We're just going to start creating a base for that one other uh, deeper shade here. Um, but I really want this to be kind of blown out up to the brow. It's a really pretty color. I feel like this is going to be a really pretty look. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> so excited. My brows are unruly. We're gonna have to deal with those later because I just can't be bothered right now. I feel like some days I just have really good brow days and other days are not so good. Oh, that's so pretty. Super pretty shade, I really like that. Um, just gonna blow it out just a little more here on the very outer edge. I'm just kind of flicking it outwards. Very pretty, it's kind of like a blushy shade almost. Really, really pretty. Okay, then next I'm gonna take a refer number 14, which is like a smaller blending brush. We're gonna go into the shade right here that I'm pointing to with my pinky, and that is called Magnum Mauve. Definitely very mauve. Um, mauve, mauve, whatever you call it. This one's a little bit more powdery than the other two, but it also could just be the brush that I picked up. And I'm just gonna pop this into like, just right into the socket. I want that pink that's above it to still kind of stand out, but we want this one to go right into the socket. So that's where I'm gonna pop this shade. Oh, that's so pretty. Can you, well, you can probably see it when, my, when I'm looking down, but that's a gorgeous color. I love these kind of tones on me, like just a beautiful mauve shade. It's kind of my favorite type of go-to eyeshadow. If I had to pick a color that I knew was like a fail-safe for me, it would definitely be like a mauve. So I'm just gonna pop this down here. We're just gonna kind of blend that out. That's so beautiful, I really love that. I'm just gonna quickly do the other eye so we can save time, I'll do it off camera, and then I'll be right back. I'm going to take a little bit of a fluffier brush. This is a refer number 27. I'm going to go back into this shade here that was called, I think it was Pink Tool? Plush Tool. Plush Tool. Middle shade. And I really want to just kind of buff this out more above the crease. So we're just going to kind of really soften that up. It's just such a soft wash of pink. I really love it. And it's not like super matte it's almost like a satin matte in a way where it has such a natural finish oh it's so pretty really love that and that's how that's looking so far and then next we're going to go into the super deep purple here i'm going to use a refer number 12 brush and we're going to go into the shade skyline dusk which is this super plum purple and i'm going to go in with a light hand to start I think we're gonna do kind of a smoky halo probably today. I've been kind of into the halos with smoky shades. This is a really pretty color too. Almost like a blackened navy purple. Like it's very cool toned for sure. I can definitely see myself using this. Um, we have a couple of weddings coming up and I think I will definitely be wearing this palette. I feel like as much as I love like my indie 
shimmers, duochromes, multi-chromes. There's just something about the luxury formula, the way it wears and doesn't emphasize any texture on my eyelids. It's just been kind of a favorite thing. Like, look at that. It's just so effortless. I am going to take the brush that I used the kind of deeper Magnum Mauve shade with. I'm not adding any more color, but I am going to just blend. And I will probably continue to do this and not tell you guys so much, but probably add color, blend, add color, blend. It's kind of how I like to work with my shadows is just slowly get more on because I feel like if you go on too much, too heavy-handed, it's usually harder to go back the other way than if you were to just go slow. So now that I've got it on the outer corner, I also want to add it to the inner corner, but I want to go in with a bit of a smaller brush. And I think I'll use this one. This is from an indie brand called Emmy, Emmy Cosmetics. Can you see that? I don't know if it's going to... Let's see. Uh, right there. It's called Emmy Cosmetics. These are like, I think, $5 a piece. They're probably not the best uh, natural hair brushes. They are goat hair, but um, they're fine. I mean, like you can see, like, you know, they're kind of popping everywhere, the hairs. But it applies the shadow the way I need it to, which is what I'm going to use this for. And then again on the outer corner, just want to stamp some more. Oh my god, I just love this shade. I love these tones to cut. Oh my god, I love purples on me. I can't. <laughs> can't get over it. And there's like no fallout so far with any of the mats. They're applying really, really well. So wherever I kind of put them, they're kind of just staying put. So that's also really nice. I'm just gonna blend a little. So this is basically where I'm applying the shades. I'm just gonna go back and forth off camera a little bit or I'll speed it up. Um, but I'm just gonna do blend, add blend. But I think I've added enough color on this eye. I probably don't need more, but that's kind of where I'm working at. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. Um, but I just don't wanna have you guys sitting here for hours watching me blend my shadow because it will probably be hours. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so that's what we've got going on right now I think that I want to add on this shade I just want to swatch it though first you know what I just realized I didn't do swatches for you guys in the beginning so I'll probably just add it afterwards but this is what this is looking like it's a very starry shadow I don't know if I want to put a base underneath this I think maybe I should I think what we'll do I just don't know if this is the type of formula that requires like a um what's the word I want to use um like a like a tacky base um so I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take a refer number 28 just a shader brush I'm going to go in with the um skyline dusk shade right here but I'm not going to like super pack it on I think I'm just gonna kind of darken this area a little bit just like that not too crazy because I still want to see where I'm gonna be applying the shade and I hope that it just decides to stick so I think I'm just gonna add some onto my finger and I'm just gonna press it on kind of a really pretty like blue glimmer it's really pretty it's almost more of a drier formula but I'm surprised by the application I thought everything would have been kind of flaking everywhere but it's not okay I think that I'm gonna have to use a brush I'll probably use the reference number 21 and I'm just going to pick up just the tiniest bit, but I'm going to wipe that off on my towel here. I just want to blend this a little bit. And I just want to see how this brush is going to do. Am I going to get a ton of fallout or, you know, what's going to happen with this? I don't see any fallout so far, which is good. 
cute. And then just blend out this crease area. I think also on this eye, we didn't kind of go high enough. Because I want to blend this shade into that mauve a little bit. This is just such a pretty smoky look. I'm definitely wearing this to a wedding event or something. Ugh. Or even just the mattes, like. <laughs> I love how this is turning out. For the inner corner, I'm gonna take this bronze shade. The bronze shade is called Gilded Glimmer. It's kind of like a metallic formula. It looks super creamy when I'm applying it to this brush but we're just gonna pop this in the inner corner. It's kind of an odd like warm tone to throw in with like the rest of the eye, but I feel like it almost kind of does a thing. I don't know. Obviously it's not super highlighting, but still a pretty shade. I think that shade with some of the moves for like an everyday makeup look really, really, really pretty. I might try that tomorrow. Stay tuned on Instagram if I do. <laughs> so that's kind of what the Gilded Glimmer shade looks like on the inner corner. Very smoky, like very, very smoky look. Um, I'm going to use the Refer number 28 brush that I kind of, you know, wiped some color into the center of our lid with. I think that, um, actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? That is a lie. I got some new brushes from Sydney Grace. There is a brush that I want to use. So it's this one here, just kind of like a flat, um, I don't even know what this is called. It's E08. I actually had to go label these myself because they don't come labeled. So look at the ugly Sharpie thing going on. <laughs> oh well. So I'm going to take some of that dark um, Skyline Dusk color, this one. And I just want to stamp it like super close to my lash line. Super, super close because I want to buff that out. After. Sorry, it cut me off, but I was just saying that I'm going to stamp this Skyline Dusk right close to my lash line. I think I'm just going to keep the top super, super smoky. And this one we're going to kind of buff out a little bit. So I just want my, um, my Skyline, my lash line to be that dark purple shade. And then I'm going to use... Magnum Mauve to really buff that out. But I really love how that's kind of intensifying the lower lash line. So that's what that's looking like. I am gonna smoke that out and I think I'm just gonna use my uh, refer, actually no, we're gonna switch brushes. We're gonna use, yeah, we'll use this one. This is a refer number 26. It's kind of like an enlarged pencil brush. You can see it has a really pointy tip. I really like this one. I really enjoy this brush. So we're just going to go into this Magnum Mauve shade. And I'm just going to start kind of bringing this color down. And we can always go back and add more of the dark, right? If it really kind of fades out, I think that's kind of easier to do. It's harder to do it the other way around. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to place that color. I think I'm actually going to buff it out with the reference number uh, 14 that I was using earlier. Same thing here. And I'm gonna take my refer number 14, which is here, and we're just gonna buff really softly. I just want that to be really blended. I think we might add a little bit more depth on the outer corner of the lower lash line, but I think this color itself is really, really pretty. really pretty. So I'm getting a little bit of fallout with the sparkles from that, um, the shade here. So I think next time I would probably try it over a, um, like a sticky base, like a, like the gimme glow glitter primer type of thing, uh, just because it is a drier formula. So I'm going to grab more of Skyline Dusk, just on a pencil brush. This is reference number, what are you? Three. Um, and I'm just going to pop this just on the outer corner. Just very lightly, I'm not grabbing a lot on my brush. See how that just kind of darkened up and this one's still kind of on the lighter side, so we're just gonna do the same thing here. That 
it's really pretty. I think I'm going to drag that gilded gold shade. We're just going to, this one, I'm just going to drag that down here. It's really pretty. Super, super pretty. Really loving the formula on this. I'm just going to finish up my eyes. I'm going to put on some uh, <laughs> some eyeliner and some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, so here is the finished eye look. Let me just show you a close-up. You can kind of see the sparkles. I feel like it's a little bit harder to really see them on camera. Like in person, they're a lot more apparent. I just added a nude liner to my waterline because I wanted it to kind of pop and I don't want my eyes so closed off. Um, and then I did just use like an e.l.f. brow gel on my brows. Um, next, I do want to go ahead and try out the lipstick. I don't think I have a lip liner handy and honestly, I'm kind of lazy to grab one. So we're just going to go ahead and try this on. Mine has a little bit of these like moisture bubbles on it. I don't know if you could tell earlier when I was showing you, there are some bubbles on there, but it's just from transit um, because I can tell it's just from the moisture of the actual lipstick. But, but let's go ahead and try this on. I'm really excited to see the shade on my lips. Oh, wow. Look how like opaque that is. So I would probably actually have to add a bit of a lip liner with this shade. Um, it's like it's fine, but it's like borderline, borderline. Um, it's really beautiful. It feels really, really hydrating on the lips. Oh, I'm sure I don't have a lip liner. I probably don't have one. It's really hard for me to get to where my lip liners are right now. So that's kind of why I'm like, oh no, I should have grabbed one earlier, but it's fine. It's fine. I think also it's just because my makeup is lighter coverage today. It's just kind of shows the discoloration around my lips a little bit more and I think that's kind of also making it stand out a little bit but I really do like the formula let me show you close up all right so I'll show you guys a close-up of the lips obviously there's no lip liner so ignore that but you can see that it's kind of not really settling into lines and the application looks really smooth and it's full coverage. Um, it feels kind of similar to Lisa Eldridge in application, but it's a little bit more on the moisturizing side. Whereas, I mean, I have the velvet lipsticks and those are a little bit more dry because there are like a powder pigment. This has a little bit more moisture to it. So definitely not like a powder pigment, but does offer that kind of coverage on the lips, which is really, really nice. Very comfortable formula, really, really love this. I think if you have drier lips, you're really gonna like this, or if you like a more comfortable uh, lipstick formula that you can't really feel it on, you will really enjoy this. So that is the finished look. <laughs> um, I really feel beautiful in this. I think it's absolutely stunning. Love, love the smoky eye. It, it's just something about the luxury formula. Like, let me get up close again. I don't know what it is, just the way everything blends and doesn't emphasize texture. I don't know. There's something about, there is a reason that these cost as much as they do. That is all I'll say. <laughs> that is all I will say. Um, I am so happy that I bought these because I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this, actually. This is heavy, but I would throw this in my makeup bag and just use, like, like, Hang on, I have to hold this a certain way because it's so heavy that it falls like these four shades or even just these three shades. Like for a work look, I think that would be really, really pretty. I mean, not like I care about what I wear to work. I've worn green eyeshadow, purple eyeshadow, whatever, you know. I could probably walk there with this too, but this is a little bit much for me for work because it's a smoky eye. I want to wear this at night. Um, the lipstick, absolutely stunning. I can see myself wearing this shade a lot, but I just need a lip liner with it. And so I definitely will use a lip liner with it next time. But I think the whole look kind of pulled together really nice. And I think obviously I would go a little bit more full glam with my face. Today I'm wearing something that's a little bit more lighter coverage and more kind of something I would do every day. Whereas like I think I would go with a fuller coverage foundation or at least a medium to full coverage 
uh, somewhere on the buildable line where it, you know, can color correct and all that kind of stuff before applying this type of makeup. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna, definitely going to wear this type of look again. You'll probably see it in a couple weeks because I have some weddings and I think this will be a great this will be a great look to wear to one of the wedding events that are in the evening or something like that. So definitely we'll be using this again. I'm so, so excited to wear it again. Um, and I think next time I'm going to use it with a Gimme Glow primer just to see. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And have you tried this brand before? Have you had your eyes on it? Because I've had my eyes on it for a very long time. And I'm so, so happy that I finally tried it. Like this it just screams rupee in packaging. I love gold. I love, you know, the woven design. I just, I love gold. Um, if you know anything about me, that's my favorite, you know, tone and jewelry to wear. It's just gold is my thing. And um, yeah, I'm so happy to have these two pieces in my collection, my wardrobe, as I normally would say. I've been out of the loop for a long time. So I feel like I'm kind of practicing myself back into filming. And so that was why I wanted to do this. Um, and hopefully I didn't, you know, go off on too many tangents. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, your opinions, your whatever's. I want to hear it all. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and do consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy me, my personality, whatever. If you don't, it's okay. You don't have to stick around. No one's forcing you. I'm not forcing you. We're cool. We're cool. We can like each other from afar. It's fine. <laughs> um but that's all for this one you guys i hope that you're staying well and i will see you in the next one bye for now